Hey, 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 hey Sparklets, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark Sparks, if you're new here. For today's video, we'll be doing something creative, something fun, something colorful, with a mix of black and white. I've been seeing a lot of it from other YouTube channels lately, and so I wanted to do a take on of the actual look, and let's see how we go. Hey guys, okay, now let's get started. So what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna do a blackout of white patch here so what i wanted to do is a kind of like a solar line here but then it does, goes out into kind of like a diffused style okay let's get started so for the first step i want to use my mac prep and prime spray to set my face a little bit first just before we do anything just to make sure that our face is hydrated when we apply certain product for our face Oh yes, just to let you know, I've got my haircut today, so if you do like it, let me know, and then I will let you know who did it, because it's one of my friends, and he's really good too. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to actually do a block out look over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a flat white layer here, and it goes diffuses out to nothing. It's almost like a spray bag look, but then it's not, because what I want to do is kind of like a tribal look. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to prime our face with the Prep and Prime Natural Base Lumiere, which is the sample that I got, just to help it, just to make sure. Now that I prime our base, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be using the BYS FX Color Wheel, the white one, and the L'Oreal Carajal. Paradise Ecstatic. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mark out where we want the band of white coat so that we are, we don't just go everywhere when we do it. So I'm just going to use my Fenty Beauty mirror again just to make sure that we mark it out properly, okay? Okay, so now we've drawn the base, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually grab the sponge and sponge it up, okay? I'm going to grab the sponge and the BYX palette and then swirl, 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 and then put it on. That's like in the book. Ninja Turtle on the go. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Okay, so, what I'm going to grab is the rough sponge just to add that extra detail in the end. Mm. Okay, now that we've done the one bend, boom, boom. what we're going to be doing next is we're going to grab our gloves by Laura Mercier, powder tr translucent setting powder just to help set the white paint a little bit on our face. And mind you guys, remember I'm not a player, so if this is wrong, let me know. I don't feel like I need to buy another white powder just to set this. It says that you need to set it with a form of powder just to make sure that it doesn't need to rub off. Okay, now, so now that it's done, what I want to do is dust off a little bit of the powder. Voila, there you go. Okay, and now that we've done that, what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be grabbing our jawbreaker palette 
or anything colorful palette that you have in your bag or in your jewelry or in your case just to create that colorful effect so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to do this side this is going to be the blue side and the other side is going to be the red side okay so what i want to mix for this side is the light blue kind of like spraying out to the darker blue out here so what we're going to grab is we're going to grab the dense brush and we're like and just spray just it off the back of the corner of your eye this is going to start with the corner and we're going to Now that we've done that, we'll just blend it softly, but not too much like the way that it's blended with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab another brush, dip on the color soap. We'll get that bigger brush just to stick it in. We're going to grab the pencil brush and just to add a little bit more glue here. Makes a bit of one as well, just to create that lighter look. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to do my left eye. I'm going to be doing that off camera. I'm going to be using the color sub and the colorish just to create that ombre effect again. We just spray it. Okay, so just stay tuned. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to do a bit of the tight line on the eye, so we can add a little bit more of color to so kind of have that. Another effect there, so it can make sense. So now I'll do that. That made my eye more boom. Mind you, we don't want that bottom lashes, even though I don't have any anyway. But I've been like looking like cross eyed. Now that I've done my tight line, I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to do the bottom bit of my eyes so that we can blend it out a little instead of that harsh line over there. So what I'm going to do is go to the right here again. I'm going to try to do as close as I can, but not super good. Grab the denser brush just to blend it out. Hey! Now that we've done the right side, we're going to do the left side now. We're going to grab the color sock again. Now that we've done it, what I want to do next is I want to grab my Hyper Sharp Wing by Maybelline. So I'm just going to try and do a neat wing one. Hopefully we can do it, guys. And we'll just stop the liner almost like in front of your pupil. You guys, my hand is like shaking trying to do this liner. Mm. 
now that we've done that side, I'm just gonna quickly do the other one off the of camera, okay? One second. Okay, now that we've done that, what we're gonna be doing next is we're just gonna add some extra like design lines here and we'll fill in our brows. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some mascara just to add some color to it, just so it's black again. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the hyperlink again to create extra brows and to make it very dramatic, okay? Grab the hyperlink. Kind of created kind of like a zebra print there. I just wanted to create that further look. Mind you guys, it doesn't have to be identical because we're just creating extra. No, you can just add whatever you want, I guess. Okay, so we've created extra design lines on our face. I just wanted to add extra, like, character to it. Not necessarily, like, you can add whatever you want. You can add a feather, you can add a star, you can add anything you want. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the liner again. And we're going to create an artificial look. Make it very dramatic. We don't want it perfect. Feathery as not just like that. not even. If you're not going to assist, you Ooh, because of bro boy brow again. Ha! Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to reach up the lines. Yeah, because we finished the actual shadows now. What I like to use is my night makeup towel, uh, Neutrogena. Just to create that really strong color. Make sure it's kind of soft. Now that we've mixed that up, what I want to do next is I want to quickly do my skin and the mascara off camera just to create that final look, okay? Wait for me, okay? Don't go anywhere! Now that we've done the look, I've actually attached some pulses, I've done my lips. What we've done is a pink and deep blue ombre lip effect. If you like it, then hit the like button down below or leave a comment on the lip. Uh, it's just a, I'm gonna go out and look to a very extra pattern, and you better be there. But before we end the video for today, what I want to show you guys is my fragrance of today. This is Jean Paul Gaultier Classic with the Wonder Woman package. I really love her, she is my favorite and she is my icon superhero and completely like her as well. It is pretty much similar to the original Classic. This is very, it has that powdery touch, it has that scent, it has that floral and heat of Kind of like a moss woody type fragrance and it's very nice for like if you're going out to a dinner you just want to be such a rigid fragrance and you don't want to create that ooh, impact on someone else while they're eating okay so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and share and don't forget to click the bell button down below to stay updated for my future videos oh so that's hope, not does hope.